so viewers welcome to our tutorial our channel that is ICT Kenya in this tutorial I'm going to guide you through solving this practical paper using a desktop publishing software by name Microsoft Publisher and we're going to handle this paper it was KCC 2019 and to start with we have uh, the chief printer of Zenith printers company would like to have business cards so a desktop publishing expert you have been tasked to design the card for the officer so to do open a desktop publishing program and after opening it choose a new blank template and then perform the requirements set the page layout as follows paper size should be 8.5 centimeters first of all let's confirm whether our paper our publication default units are centimeters mine is centimeters if yours has been set to inches convert to centimeters and then you click ok so paper size should be 8.5 centimeters by 5.5 our paper size is 21 by 29.7 therefore we are going to create a new paper page size and the other thing we need to know is tag uh, layout should be multiple pages per sheet it's already set to multiple pages per sheet however here we can only see one sheet therefore let us reset it by going to one page per sheet and then again multiple pages per sheet it will be divided into 10 but we have been informed that our width should be 8.5 and the length should be 5.5 what about the margins 0 0.75 the margin is 0 0.75 I just copy this one paste it here and again here and again here and the margin will be fully set so this is our publication now we need to come up with these borders rounded or corner rectangle draw it remove the background you set it off here another thing zenith printers this logo we need to set a shape like a rectangle like this you can draw it here shape fill it with black color get another shape like uh, this one here the name is delay for the heading part connect it reduce here then attach it to the other one exactly like this connect the two by grouping apply a common background complete we also need a text like zenith printers so get a text box draw it anywhere so we have uh, zenith printers but all text is white in color so font should be white then drag it to its required location here is it again we have another white piece of line running across here get a shape shapes and draw the line right there and set the line to be white now since we are done with the logo we can group everything in this logo by selecting all the shapes and then grouping them done next we have a printer at the center so to draw this printer you can do it by assume it looks like this one shape fill you can set to no fill a uh, shape outline you can reduce it to one point then we have this line here the thick line so get a normal line draw the line somewhere here and increase the thickness of the line maybe about six points then after that we have another rectangle somewhere here so insert a rectangle draw exactly like this shape fill now shape outline you can reduce the thickness to one point then inside our rectangle okay shape outline should shape should be white so that you may hide the background like this 
then we need to set the lines the horizontal lines here so here is our first line the first line we need to reduce the thickness of this line maybe one point so we don't need to insert another line we can just copy and paste copy and then keep on pasting the same line and aligning it to its area this okay the print is not complete actually we have another top part here so insert shape get a rectangle and draw it here so this printer is complete shape outline no fill shape outline you can set it to one point and so on now select the printer group it to become one object take it to its required location try to minimize it to make sure it fits its designation as you can see here we have another bottom part this one with these slashes so let's go to our publication and insert them draw a text box align it. it should be like this take it to the bottom somewhere there and then you, you can just insert them direct like this by pressing the slash sign then apart from that we have text okay we have a text body service is our satisfaction so another text box should be italicized so that is quality service reduce the size to make sure it fits our and also center line it and take it to its required decision uh, location like this so the other point is we need to draw these dots we have some dots here so to get the dots just go to insert get a shape like an oval design a small one here and set the shape field to black let us zoom the screen make this oval like this reduce again the shape very small now since you already have the shape we can now zoom out now it is a matter of copying and pasting and we take the the, the copy of it to our work control So the next the next part is inserting this part of segment that is we create invitation cards wedding cards so you can make use either of a text box or even insert a rectangle and then add a text frame inside it like this it's a rectangle shape fill can be no fill outline set it to be no outline right click and add text so we create We create now we need bullets here we have this is them invitation cards with the cards something we need to know is reduce the size of the display and again we also need to reduce the margin or the space between the bullets and the text by going to bullets and adjusting the indent we reduce it to 0.5 will be okay then from there another thing we need to reduce is the spacing between the words to make it to the spacing we can reduce it and just to go to line spacing option reduce it to 0.25 space will be okay. I think everything will be visible. Then 
Take this. It should be here. So we need to make it smaller. This space. And much more. Like this. But also make like it smaller again. Reduce the space. Exactly like this. Now, what is the background of our shape? You can go to shape format, shape fill, and add our background like this. And the font type automatically means it will be font color will be white, as you can see here. Let's reduce it a bit, move it away from the printer. like this so the other point we need to check on is the text here we only need two text boxes one for this part and another one for this text here and we make sure that we underline and also bold the text here By the height of this text, perfect font size, exactly very nice. The other piece of text is University Drive, it's another text box. Font size is 6, okay. So we're going to select all of this text and mod modify the height. 0 0.25 majorly and then okay so after that we need to reduce this text box to make it reasonable of our reasonable size and then drag our text to our work like this so do we have anything else to add here uh, we are told print out the copies of the card on a single 10 copies of the card on a single A4 page. So, but before we print, we, everything we have done here, so select all, control A, and then from shape format, we group. So, all of them becomes one object such that they can even move them, modify them. It's just a single object as you can see here. Nevertheless, they should be here. So to print them, control P and 10 cards will be printed as you can see from the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is what we expected to do and you end up getting your 50 marks. So otherwise, thank you for your time. If this is your first time, please subscribe. And in case you want to learn more of uh, designing the cards like this one, you can see here. Check on the description and you will see uh, several links are guiding you to different videos of designing the same as the business card. Hello.